Good evening and welcome to News Watch, your source for news impacting southeastern Ohio. I'm Madison Moore. The West Virginia Public Service Commission issued a final order in its investigation of Sudden Link's quality of service on Wednesday. The state of Ohio's COVID dashboard is showing fewer than 5,000 positive cases today. From the Super Bowl to the grocery aisle, pandemic problems just keep coming. Some of the latest issues aren't just about the virus. They're the result of disagreements over how to handle it. Amy Kiley reports. The incident happened around 3 p.m. this afternoon in James Hall, with police arriving shortly after. Take a look at these gas prices, $3.39 per gallon. Athens City Council met last night and debated whether to extend the mask ordinance to March 31st. Nearly one third of Vinton County residents are living without reliable access to clean water, whether to drink, to cook, or even to bathe. And the ones that do have water, it's um, it's like uh, dirt, it's like a muddy water. It's not a new problem either. The quest for clean water for, for Vinton County has uh, been with my family for 21 years and that, that was the first time that we moved here. Federal funding has allowed Vinton County to place multiple water dispensaries throughout the county. We make sure that every person that wants it has access to drinkable, safe, reliable water. They're cheap, easy to access, and placed strategically near areas without clean water. Folks in their own pickup trucks or they have a trailer and they have they have a tank on the back. Local resident Thomas Acasio began a water delivery business last year and it's grown incredibly quickly. Within a few days of opening the company, my phone was ringing off the hook and it's turned into a beast. I can't keep up with the demand. Um, I went from one truck to three trucks within a year and we're still two to three weeks out if you know someone calls today. The tanks are a step in the right direction, but not a permanent solution. I hope that we can shut it down eventually. Okay, that is my goal. Featheroff hopes that someday clean water lines will run to every home in Vinton County. It's going to cost millions of dollars, but she wants residents to know that they are determined to put up a fight. We want to make them aware that we're still working on this. We haven't given up. We're working on your behalf. For Newswatch, I'm Madison Moore in MacArthur. The pictures, all shot by teenagers, are worth looking at, but sometimes they look at you. The display, part of the Athens Photo Project Summer Youth Photo Program, challenges people's perception of what it means to be young. We don't realize that their worlds are just as complex as ours, and they have, they're going through a time of immense transition with immense challenges. The youth program facilitator is Josh Birnbaum. He says the teens were encouraged to capture photographs that would help them get in touch with themselves. Others are using photography to uh, perhaps as, as a metaphor. Maybe they're using it to express um, something they struggle with. Birnbaum says he wanted to build a relationship with the young artists. It's my job to create an environment where they'll, they feel free to express themselves in whatever way they see fit with photography and associated media. At the helm of the photo exhibit is 15-year-old Cassandra Osborne. My creative process was I had to have the right colors, I had to have the right mood, and like all my pictures had a different perspective or a different like way that I thought about it. Lately, she's been thinking about the quick pace of her life. Sometimes reality isn't what it seems because Everything can change in one second. You, don't, you only need one thing to happen for everything to change. I think what she did really well is kind of interpret her reality and reflect on it in a really unique and, and beautiful way. Birnbaum says he can see the self-confidence and pride that came through the exhibit. I think sometimes, you know, what we see goes beyond what's on the surface. For Newswatch, I'm Madison Moore in Athens.